Hey there guys, Mr. Cool210 giving you some bad news. Very, very bad news. It's good news and sort of bad news in a way. Um it, it'll all depend on how things really go along. Um as you people might have know, a couple of you, because it got about nineteen views before it got taken down. Um, I had released and finished my Pokemon the first movie review and put it up on the on this YouTube account. But then Show Pro, being the dicks that they are, took it down. Apparently, I'm not the first to ha that this that this has happened to. Apparently, they do it to pretty much every freaking Pokemon video on the internet. They just take it down for copyright, no matter what it is, because they blocked it when I uploaded it, and there is absolutely no way in hell that they could know that it's um that it there's no way in hell they could see the entire video in the time that they blocked it. Although I did get copyright claims from um, two other people, um, from people who made the music to Pokemon, a bit like the original composers for the Pokemon movie. I told them it's fair use because it's in a, it's in a review and it's from the movie itself, so I can't exactly take it out. They said fine, and they remo and they retracted their copyright claim, but not Show Pro. No, no, no. I made a copyright a retraction to them. YouTube was on my side. They thought I was in the right, so they put the video back up for about five minutes, and then ShowPro took it down again. So here's what's gonna happen. I am currently uploading it to Vimeo, even though it's been up, it's been processing for about four hours and it's still not finished yet. I'm gonna try to upload this Pokemon review to an alternate website so you people can watch it. But know this, even though I say I'm doing Pokemon the Movie 2000 at the end of the video, I'm not. I'm done with Pokemon reviews. I'll make, I'll make it up to you, okay? This will be something where you can request me to do... Usually I don't take re actual requests. I usually have this all planned out. But this time I'm going to take a request. You can request now two things to fill that time slot. And they have to be... Um, things that you would suspect that I would have watched as a kid, being a 19-year-old high school graduate. You, you know, early, late 90s, early 2000s stuff. Movie or TV show. Something I was probably going to do anyway later on, but I'm going to do now. I'm not doing Pokemon anymore for these reviews, because I don't want this to happen again. If this happens twice more, because, I, you know, I was going to do two more movies... And if this happens twice more, my, my account is gone, and you'll lose all of my videos. Every single one of them. And I don't want that to happen, because I'm happy with my 200, and pl my 200 plus subs. I want to keep making content for you guys. So, um, there's going to be a couple changes around here with the reviews. Number one... For about six months, until, unless, of course, I get another fucking copyright claim, unless four kids or Konami comes out of nowhere and gives me a copyright claim for, like, if I do a Yu-Gi-Oh! review, or if I do a review of, like, fucking Flubber, which I am, but I don't care about spoiling that right now, and Disney pops out of nowhere and is like, oh, copyright infringement, derby der, I'll be uploading the vi the reviews in parts, um, two-parters, well, no. They're usually like 30 minutes, a little over 30 minutes, so maybe three parts, maybe j maybe like one part that's like 13 minutes, another one that's like maybe 12, or, or, or another one that's, maybe three parts, or I, I don't know, it's just, I'll be uploading, I'll be, tr I may be uploading them in parts for about six months, because that'll be when the copyright claim is retracted, unless of course they retract it earlier, and if they do it within 10 days, and if they do retract it earlier, then I'm fine. I'll be uploading them full 30 minutes as I usually do. Um, but there also is good news to this as well. Um, even though I'm not doing Pokemon anymore, because um, like I said, I'm just I just don't want this shit to happen again. I've seen the, I'll tell you this much. I've seen the movies. I've seen all three of them. Like I've watched all three of them, and I even had a big one planned with a friend. I was gonna do a review with a friend of mine, but I can't do that anymore because I want my account to get taken down. Um, those reviews aren't coming, but I did see, I did watch them. I watched all three of them. I had script, I was so close to getting scripts finished for the, th for the two of them, but nope, not happening. However, good news, I have scripts in the works for a review, another review with the Brit, aka Ricky Manson, who 
Sorry, it's like, sorry, it's like 2:30 in the morning. Um, I might have another review planned with the Twisted Insomniac, another one with um, Simon, um, another one with an uh, one with another friend of mine who you haven't seen yet. Um, yeah, so I got plenty of reviews planned up. They're just I'm just not doing Pokemon anymore, and that to move that first movie will be the only, and that pisses me off because that that review was one of my favorites. It's I worked so hard on getting that that review finished because a I'm in a new location in that review. Two, I worked a lot harder on the script than I usually do. Like I really tried hard to focus on the problems of the film and what was good and what was bad, and to make good get good jokes. And I thought it was the funniest, one of my funniest videos. But no, now I can't show it to you people because ShowPro doesn't know the meaning of copyright infringement. I just realized. The same thing, I mean, I'm not a fan of them, really, but the same thing happened to Smosh. They've been doing this for years. They've just been taking videos down if it's Pokemon-related. doesn't matter what the hell it is. So, yeah, I'm just... So, I guess you people can kind of see my point, that it's just no more Pokemon stuff. No Pokemon review. No review of the show. No review of the movies. No review of the games. None of that stuff. I'm just not doing it. Because I don't want my account to get taken down. Like I said, I have less chance of this happening if I did, you know, if I did Yu-Gi-Oh, which I'm going to, um, or like say, uh, yeah, like Flubber. Less chance because thankfully Disney and four, well, for one, four kids can't exactly take down Yu-Gi-Oh, and Konami I don't think gives a shit, and neither does Disney. Disney doesn't care if I look at an old movie from the '90s. So, and I I know people suggested. Upload them to Blip. Blip will not allow me to upload to their site because I am... I don't upload them on a, on a... Like, enough of a basis. Like, I don't go, like... You know, I'm not like a typical video maker where I'm just like, okay, I have to upload this a week, upload that week, upload that week, upload that week, upload that week. No, I don't do that. Because I have life to live. I don't, I don't make videos for, like you know, every day for, for a job. I do this as just a regular hobby that I just want to do just for the fun of it. And if push comes to shove, if push comes to shove, and I'm going to ask you this. Put it in the comments if you want this. I may make a separate account from this one for childhood throwback only. No more childhood throwback episodes on this, on this channel. They'll just be put up on that channel and it'll, the channel will just be called Childhood Throwback, and whenever I get a new video up, I'll put it there. That'd be weird, though, because then my main channel will have less subs than my reg than my sub channel. Whatever. I may do it. I'm going to ask you, should I do it, should I not do it? Sorry. Ugh. Damn it. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, once the Pokemon review's up, I'm going to wait a while, probably, like, maybe a couple of weeks to see the response from you people, and I'll make a video here letting you people know when it's up on Vimeo, if it ever pops up on Vimeo, because like I said, it's been processing for four fucking hours now, and, um, <clears throat> yeah, I'll let you know when it's up, um, and then after that, I'm going to work on a review, I'm, I'm not telling you the movie, because, A, I like keeping things a secret for the most part, I mean, sure, I don't care if I told you about Flubber, but everyone's heard about Flubber, and, um, for two, the majority of you probably haven't heard of the movie. <laughs> it's an older movie. For, it's a very older movie that my dad probably watched when he was a kid. Um, that, and that's the one I'm doing with the Brit. I'm doing that review with him. Um, yeah, that's how it's going to go. So yeah, to recap, no more Pokemon. Um, maybe, a, maybe, maybe making a new channel specifically for Childhood Throwback. Reviews will be coming in a more... More so quicker, um, uh, scale than before, because before it was just, I make the review, then take a break, and then watch the movie, and then write the script, and do all that stuff. Now I just watch as many movies as I can, get the notes down, and then write the script when I want, when I want to, so it might come a little earlier, who knows. And that reviews are planned. Big reviews are planned. Um, okay, so, yeah, leave your thoughts in the comments, tell me what you want to know, tell me anything you want to know, um, yeah, let, rec do... Just do what you usually do. Comment. I'll let you know when it's up. I'll make a separate video. Probably like this one. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys later. On the net, hopefully on the next childhood throwback.